Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Mohamed Yunus and I am Odoo Technical Developer. If you haven't subscribed our channel Odoo Discussions, please show your support and click the red subscribe button so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, how to add chatter in Odoo. So for example, let me just show you what uh, a chatter means and how it looks like in Odoo. So if I go to a uh, project module and then click uh, the project and then open any of the uh, task. So at the bottom, I can see these uh, messages uh, that uh, we can see. And we can also see the history uh, that which field has been updated to which value and uh, it also shows uh, the time and also it shows the creation uh, date uh, of this record. So there's a lot of information that's available in this chatter. So in this video, we are going to add the same uh, kind of chatter for our custom module, which is Open Academy, and we will add for uh, courses model. So let me just explain the different sections of the chatter. Uh, the first one is to uh, add some message um, for some user here what options we have for example if we add eight and then we can add any user we can add any men's user we can mention any user here uh, uh, to which we want to send some message so once we uh, mention a user here then the system will send a notification uh, inside the chat box also and the, this user will also get uh, an email if the outgoing mail server is configured and this person have a valid email so i can add uh, here uh, something like this and then uh, and I can also add some emojis and uh, also add some attachments uh, here. And after that, when I click the send button, this message will be sent uh, to the user. If uh, email uh, server is configured, then uh, surely email will be sent out to this user. So it is showing red because uh, currently the email uh, server is not configured in this database. And here is a log node that we can add for specific user. What is the difference between send message and log node? Send message uh, will send a message and will send the email to all the followers of these documents. So whatever we write here and if we, when we click the send button, it will send the, this message uh, in Udo and also through email to all these followers. But note will not send any message, any notification to the user will not send the email also unless you mention someone here so if you specifically want to send uh, to some uh, specific user a message related to this document then you will have to mention it here and you will have to put a log log note here so this will just uh, send the message to the uh, mentioned user and then here comes the schedule activity or section where we can schedule activity for any user for example we will have to send um, an email and here we can add some summary and then text here the here we will have to uh, mention the user for which we want to schedule this activity and when this activity um, should be performed so you would have to add the date here and then we can we have these options so here we can schedule the activity so let me just click it and then you will see here that uh, activity is scheduled activity has been added for this user Mitchell admin and it uh, is going to be um, happen tomorrow and it will expire tomorrow so this thing we can just manage here and we can see uh, if we click here we can see this user has one uh, activity related to the task which is in the future for tomorrow and here is a section of followers so we can add follower here and also remove the existing followers so once we add any follower here then the, all the messaging related to this document will be sent out to all the followers so this is it the basic overview of the chatter in Udo. 
we want to add uh, the exact same functionality for our custom module which is open academy and we want to add it for this uh, course uh, model so uh, what are the steps that we need to perform uh, for adding the chatter first of all we will have to add these two models mail.thread and mail.activity.mixin so let me go to uh, uh let me go to um, our custom module which is open academy and then open the open academy.py file so here we will have to inherit uh, the models mail.thread and second one is mail.activity.mixin like this these are the two models that we need to inherit this is for the, the messaging purpose this is for the activity purposes so uh, the next step is uh, to add the following fields uh, inside the xml form view and we will have to add these fields uh, inside the div tag after the uh, sheet uh, tag so the class the css class that will be used for this purpose is oe chatter so let me first add uh, it inside the xml which is open academy.xml and here we will have to add uh, inside this form view open academy.course the id is uh, course form view so it this is the sheet tag and here we will add div class is equal to oe uh, chatter and inside um, this div uh, we will have to add uh, these three fields first one is uh, to add uh, the activity so let me add it here this field is no sorry this field is to uh, add the follower we will have to call this widget uh, so that it uh, should um, be added properly and the second uh, the second field is to uh, manage the activities for the user uh, and uh, one most important thing is that we can add a groups security group for each kind of uh, field so i will just uh, uh, explain it a bit later and at the end of this video and the third one is uh, for the messaging purposes so let me edit here these three fields we need to edit and then what we have done we have first edited uh, um, inherited these two models and then we have added uh, these three fields uh, inside the form view so uh, restart the service because we have added the fields uh, inside the python and then go to the apps to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade we will be able to see the change so what we can see here the uh, existing uh, open academy dot course inherits a non-existing model so we will have uh, this model does not exist uh, because we have not uh, uh, added the proper dependency so for example if i search uh, this model that where this model is defined uh, so that we can add uh, it inside our module so what we can do let me just search it here and the name of the so what is uh, where it is defined so here it is here and it is a mail module we can see here add-in slash mail slash model so it is inside the mail module so let me just add the dependency in our inside our uh, module where we have to add it this is uh, the uh, dependency which is mail so uh, if we don't add any dependency of the module then we will get such errors this is because that uh, this module is unable to find the model which we inherited so let me just uh, go here to app store and then click the upgrade button to upgrade the module uh, so this time it will be upgraded successfully and we will be able to see the chatter uh, at the end of the um, record.
so at the bottom of the record so the chatter depends on the screen size if your monitor screen is large then you will be able uh, to see on the uh, right side so if i open this course and here we can see at the bottom if i collapse this so here we can see the send message note and then activity and then followers so we can uh, see all these things so for example if i post a message here um, congrats we have edit the chatter and post it here so this message has been posted so the follower of the documents are zero so this message will not be sent to anyone so another thing that we need to uh, discuss is that uh, for example uh, i want to add a change that whenever i change the responsible of uh, this uh, document it should be uh, added to the chatter that this the, what was the um, old value and what is the new value so what i will do here i will have to add a new attribute to the field uh, which is responsible so let me just add um, a new attribute which is tracking is equal to true so i want to take this field uh, value and also i want to take uh, some other fields like this one course name so this is i want to take uh, in the cheater also so let me just restart and then upgrade the module and to see uh, the change that we have added and uh, after that you will be able to see that whenever i change the responsible uh, uh, field then it will uh, show in the chatter the old value and the new value so this way you can maintain the history of the changes that someone is making uh, with that record so let me go to the open academy module and then uh, this one we can see here and then so uh, here we can see uh, no history related to it and if i change it to uh, mitchell admin and then save it and then we can see only so we have a record rule uh, that is uh, not allowing me to change this record because this uh, course is uh, for some uh, other person so therefore i cannot change it so let me just uh, go and change the second one so this is mark demo i cannot change this one also so what i will have to do uh, in order to make changes in this uh, i will uh, have to become a super user so that i can get the super access of um, Odo and then I will be able to change it uh, just uh, to show you the uh, functionality that we have added. So, for example, go here and then uh, change it to Mitchell Admin and then save it. So, whenever I save it, you can see that the old one was uh, Joel Wills and the next, the current one is Mitchell Admin. So, this uh, uh, it logs, it creates a logs uh, for each activity that is uh, happening here so uh and this and you can also play with the all this uh, schedule activity and then uh the follower has been added automatically when uh you made any change here so thank you guys for watching this video if you haven't subscribed our channel please go uh and search on youtube audio discussion and uh subscribe our channel uh, this means a lot uh, for us and it motivate us to create some more uh, useful videos for you guys so if you if you like this video please give a huge thumb up, thumbs up and also share this video with your friends thank you